Hey, long rodders! Welcome to another Friday time video where we tie flies that catch fish, not only fly fishermen. And we are starting with a size 14, 2x strong, 3x long, because I wanted a 3x strong, size 12, 2x long. They didn't have any, so I went with the 14, 3x long instead of 2x long. And a 2x strong, because they didn't have 3x strongs. Okay. So that's the hook. The bead is a 764th size bead. And let's get into this fly. And we have some black 70 denier thread. We're going to tie it. Start the whole length of the hook. Shank the hook. It helps the materials not to spin and tie them down a little easier when you do this. Now we're going to tie in some olive pheasant tail for the tail. Remember, only about two thirds of the length of the shank of the hook, or roughly about half, is what, what I do. Now we got some full. Fine gold wire. We're going to tie that in. That'll be a rib. Now we have medium flat pearl tinsel that we're going to tie that in. So you start wrapping that towards the bead and um, just wrap it around the hook shank. Oh man, what do you mean that got messed up? You left it slip out of your hands. Well, let's unwind it, clip it off, and I'll show you how to tie on new pheasant tail. The easiest, slickest way to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some more of that olive pheasant tail and you're going to tie it in by the tips. And then when you get that back, you're going to tie it and then just restart all over again. Wrap the pheasant tail around and... Now, you see that little straggler? I wouldn't worry about that. When If you get one loose, just keep wrapping it. You cut it off. I'm going to tie these down real well and cut them off. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that flat, flat tinsel up over and then tie it down right behind the bead and then we're going to start ribbing this. We're going to rib it the opposite way we wound that pheasant tail. It'll help you make a more solid fly and it'll help make your uh, ribbing stick out better.
Okay. Now you're going to put some thread wraps in front of the wire and back of the wire. Make it secure it's down. Real, it's secured down really good. Then helicopter it off till it breaks off. Finish tying it down. Okay, for the the shell back or you know to tie in uh, nymph skin, I like to segment it, segment it, mated, segmented colors of this. It looks really good when tied in. So I use it for most of my nymph patterns. The shell over instead of like regular pheasant tail or let's say turkey quill. I like this stuff. I have this cut in about eighth inch strips. Um, you could do it bigger or smaller. You know, you get the nymph skin and you got to cut it yourself in strips. So, you know, play with it, see what you like. Okay, so what we got here is some crazy UV purple flash dubbing, really stringy. This stuff's incredible. I don't know why purple works so well, but it does. I'm gonna get purple tried on my caddis flies and other flies. Dry fly. I'm gonna make purple dry flies. I don't know why purple works so well, but anyway, we're gonna tie this in really loose on the dubbing. We're gonna pick this out. Now we're going to grab that nymph skin. I like to put it right behind the dubbing, put like a little fold in the nymph skin. It just seems to work better and it lays better and it fishes better. I don't know. We're going to put that little thing in, tie it down below the bead and cut the excess off. And we're going to throw a finish in this. Hey, uh, now you're going to pick out the bottom of this purple dubbing. You want it to stretch out long. I'm going to make it look like legs. But wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Now you know, this isn't the way I would tie this. So, keep staying after this. I'm done with this. I'll go into, I would add lively legs to this. I know you get tired of seeing the lively legs. They just work extra better than this fly, I think, would. I'm going to fish both, and I'll let you know from the field later on this year. But I'm pretty sure that the lively legs will succeed this one. So let's go put at, show you how to pad lively legs to this fly, make it a little bit more deadly. Now, we're going to use these purple, small purple flakes. Um, they are made, if you go on the lively legs, which I put the link down below. If you go on the lively legs website and look, they are made for the flashback um, pheasant tail nymphs, which we are tying. So. Okay, we already have the nymph skid tied on, so we're going to start from that point. And we're going to tie these legs look a little different. You can tell which ones go forward. They face the different direction. They look different. And you're going to tie them right up against the bead. Because the last set of legs you're going to end up cutting off and not even using. So you're going to tie that right up against the bead. Put a couple wraps behind them legs up to the second set of legs. Right behind the second set of legs. You're going to put a couple wraps. And then you're going to pull up on the tab close to the bead. There's a little rubber tab there. You're going to pull up on that, cut it off. And then you're going to pull up on the back set of legs and the rubber there and cut that off as close as you can to the second set of legs and tie them down. Okay, you're going to use that same purple dubbing. You're just not going to put it on as loose. You're going to try and make it a little tighter so it doesn't, because you're not picking this out. Um, something you could do is wetting your fingertips a little bit, and it'll help 
tighten the dubbing and I'll put it sporadically on then you wrap that up to the bead pull your nib skin up to the bead tie it down cut off the nib skin Okay, long riders. Hope you like that fly. Um, make sure you tie these up. Get these in your box. All the last couple videos we did very deadly, very must-haves. Tie them up. Check out the other videos above me. Check out all the other videos in these playlists. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. <laughs>